Hey guys, this is Sean from Shanthe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Huawei Watch 2 and do all the quick settings on it. So let's just start it. So first of all, just switch on your Huawei Watch 2 by pressing this power key here on the top. There are two keys as you can see you have to press the first one on the top okay, So now just tap on the screen to begin as it says And on the next screen it will ask you to select the language so select any language of your choice. I'm going to select English United States. And then it will ask you to agree to the Huawei end user license agreement. Just tap on this icon here. And now you need to take your phone here. Go to the settings on your device. Switch on the Bluetooth and as it says here on your Huawei Watch 2 that you need to download and open Android Wear. In Android Wear connect this watch with the name Huawei Watch 2. So first you need to download the Android Wear application from the Play Store. So go to the Play Store, look for the Android Wear, just download it. launch the application and tap on set it up agree to the terms and condition turn on bluetooth and location the bluetooth is already turned on so just give all the permission it is asking and now it's looking for the watch here so you can see that now it is showing my watch Huawei watch 20317 here is the same Huawei Watch 20317 so just tap on this now it's connecting to pair with make sure the device is showing this key 091831 091831 allow Huawei Watch to access your contacts and call history select this tap on pair and it's connected here it is showing connected as well as you can see so now it's checking for updates both devices they are syncing right now So now you can connect your Google account to your watch as well. I'm just going to skip it. You can select on next as well. Stay connected to the Wi-Fi. Tap on connect. Chat with your friends. Send messages from your watch. Sync your contacts. Tap on next as well. Give the permission to the device to accessing your contacts and messages. And also select for the calendar. Give the permission once again. And get notification at a glance tap on next as well and then it will ask you for the permission for notification access so you have to just tap on the slider in front of android wear and then give the permission tap on allow and you are all set so tap on done and you can see that showing you're all set once again and uh, I need to just update my Google Play Store or Google whatever it was so let's have a look on the device now okay. so this is the sample notification tap to get more detail 
tutorial to get started swipe up it's showing me lots of tutorials here this is a sample notification tap to get more detail i'm tapping on it then it is showing me more instruction and how the notification appears on the watch face and all swipe right to exit press power button to go back to the watch face so it is giving all the important tutorials press button to see app so i'm pressing it once again and here is the list of application as you can see here i got agenda contacts if you press any of these app uh, for longer duration then it's being selected as favorite as you have just noticed so we got daily tracking find my phone lots of stuff so the whole setting is done as you can see if you go to the settings you will find more option for display you can select whether you want the automated display the brightness or you can select any of them you can even change the watch face if you want and then we are having sound or notification apps gesture you can select tilt to wake or wrist gesture right now tilt to wake is selected we are having wrist gestures as well you can once again have a look on the launch tutorials if you want and if you type on more tips it will show more tips about the Huawei watch 2 so if you tap on tilt to wake it's the selected wrist gesture is on as well now and let's go back by swiping right then we're having connectivity accessibility if you go to the personalization you can have the option for input methods whether you can select the google handwriting input google voice input that's automated and by default it is selected and you can even manage your keyboards and once again for the account you can add your google account in the previous step maybe you noticed that i skipped my account i did not added my account to this device so that's why it is showing once again add google account there is no account information is showing right here but if i was going to select the information uh, that option then my google account would be synced to this watch as well and if you go to the sound and notification in the settings you can select the media volume how much volume you want you can just slide this slider then there is alarm volume same thing and as i said each time i'm swiping my thumb is touching the bezel all the time and it's a bit annoying so this is what we got here then you can select the font size whether you want the small ones or normal ones see the normal here is the large one and then we are having the always on screen but it drains the battery life so you can select whether you want it or not right now it is turned on so it's turned on so this is all of the settings that you will find on your Huawei watch 2 and if you want you can change the watch faces as well so this is how you can do the setup of your brand new Huawei watch 2 and start using it so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this and you can also get in touch with me on facebook twitter and instagram by visiting the links given in the description of this video so i'll see you guys in the next video have a nice day